All right. I'm ready for more. And I'll adjust this camera, too. Okay. I'm all set. Am I in HD? Yes. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Ah, okay, that'll do. All right, let's throw some dirty gloves on. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go back to where I was yesterday. Actually, not that one. I'm going to go to Brands Hatch. Uh, that's not the last video I made yesterday. But what I'm going to do is go to Brands Hatch, which is not this track. It's this one here. And um, yesterday, whew, a bunch of people must have seen my video because I went from 33 to 50. So a lot of guys actually got on this and uh, bumped me back down to, to a way lower position, which is fine, which is great. It's good to see people, but as you can see, that's still that Montero guy. I wonder if he's Portuguese, Enrique Montero, probably Portuguese. Uh, I'm like literally two seconds, just a two second difference. That's it. Add ghost. So I'm going to add his ghost. I'm going to try to use this setup to see see if I can adapt and do well with it. Try to stay in the track. thing if you could like literally get everything then it would be a little unfair for the person okay so here he breaks at this marker jeez that that apex man is a son of a mother a dirty mother a very dirty mother second gear there was a terrible idea okay so this setup what I can tell already is it doesn't like the apex at all like not even a little bit like it's one of those where you touch that apex you're most likely gonna spin around or just slide right out so and that's that's even with traction control on high right now let's keep in mind that this guy 
when I started it said traction control low. So you most likely did this with traction control low. Which is even more impressive. Okay. Okay, I think I did okay there. A little slidey, but alright. Okay. Closer to the 122s, I hope. I'm gonna beat my previous time. That much I know right now. Boom. Oh, what the hell? I beat it by almost nothing. decimals or something Jesus yeah I'm going places there going... decimals or something? Kind of. Jesus. Yeah, I'm going places there. Going to bad places. I thought I had 
I thought I beat my time. I, I really thought I did. But this game does something that I don't like, which is... It, uh... On the Delta, it doesn't put your Delta related to your best time for some reason, sometimes. Which is super misleading. Especially when you're doing... when you think you're doing alright. And then you find out you only, like, shaved off six decimals. It's like, uh, slapping the... slapping the pee-pee. Is what I felt like just now. Not quite sure why that happens. Like, maybe I'm just stupid or something, but... I don't know why that happens. It's a little annoying. A little a lot, actually. Why would you... Ugh. I'm not even... I, I don't even know why I'm... Oh, I did beat my previous time. Okay. Be good. Okay, so now we're in the 122s. Now I can finally go. I didn't even realize I beat my time there. I did good, finally. Only took me, like, how many tries? We'll see. Maybe I'll count it later. Automated by weather. Okay. I'm assuming it is correct, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave, I'm, yeah. You know what I mean, I'm gonna change it. Let's go with uh, what I had on my setup. And, I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna touch that. Okay, let's see if this does any changes. Never know. Well, that's just as bad when it comes to that part. What if I go and change this? Front, front arrow. I wonder if that's what's making me spin. It really might be. You never know until you change it. And then you gotta adapt to all the different driving here. Felt better going over there, actually.
Okay, is this gonna beat my previous time? It did. this is. 